Today's Spotlight on Naperville is brought to you in part by... If you're just tuning in, you're watching Spotlight on Naperville. I'm Nancy Wearsome, and we're going to turn our attention now to the Naperville Public Library and the Summer Reading Program. Always love to hear about that. We have Kirsten Doucette, who is a teen librarian with us. So good to have you, Kirsten. Alice Reed is back. She is a reader and has talked about that before on set. So yes. good to have you. And you're a junior at Bennett. Yes. Yes. And Anne-Marie Hawley is going to be a senior at yes. Bennett. Yeah. So welcome to all of you. Thank you. Now, Thank Kirsten, you. let's talk first a little bit about the summer reading program. Yes, the summer reading program is an exciting time of the year. We have a program for all ages from birth to adult. So we have a program for the little kids um, and also for kids in grades th third grade through fifth grade. And then we also have a program for teens and adults. Um, so everybody can read and earn prizes and it's always a lot of fun. Um, we're particularly excited about the teen uh, summer reading program. The theme this year is a zombie theme. It's reading is undead, read your brains out. And <laughs> it's a lot of fun. The, the whole um, adult and teen section is decorated and zombie, zombified out, so it's really cool. And we're really excited about it this year, too, because the teens got to have input in that. And that's something that they decided they thought would be a really fun theme for us. So we love that they got to have ownership of that, and it's really fun that it's part of pop culture right now, and we think that they're really enjoying it. Oh, that is fantastic. Now, Anne-Marie, so how did you end up getting involved? So I love reading, like ever since I was little, I just love, I don't know, I just love staying up at night with a really good book and <laughs> sometimes would end up with a, a few days at school where I was a little tired from the night before staying up so late. Um, but now being in high school, just with the rigor of like curriculums and stuff, it's really hard to um, stay reading throughout the school year. So for me, the summer is the best because I'm just sitting out on the deck every day with a good book. Um, and so for me, it's a great way to um, stay reading over the summer. And uh, a lot of the prizes are uh, like sponsored by local businesses in the area, which is a really great way to go out and go mini golfing or go get ice cream somewhere in downtown Naperville and um, really feel like you're part of a community and just celebrate reading. That is fantastic. And Alice, tell us, I know you told us before, but tell us about your experiences with reading. Well. Really, I've been involved with the summer reading program ever since like, I was a toddler because um, this was even before I could read. And my mom used to read to me, and so I would go in and get my prizes. And ever since then, I've been involved with the library, and I've really been raised, and I've loved to read. My entire family loves to read, and it's just kind of a part of who we are, really. Um, so um, I think that's something that's really just a part of me. Yeah, that is, that is wonderful. Now, Kirsten, the program is in progress, yes. right? But people can still sign up. Yes, you can still sign up. It started on June 2nd, but it goes all the way through August 2nd, and you get, can sign up at any time. Um, and anything that you've already been reading will count towards the summer reading program as long as it's after June 2nd. So all the way up until August 2nd, you can sign up and you can get your prizes. So in yeah. And so you can read really whatever you want. You can pick whatever you want to read, which is great. Do you find a lot of people are reading in associated with the theme? Yeah, I or, think I so. Mean, we do have a couple of displays up um, with zombie books, and I think that's something that people are really interested in, and um, they're they're taking those books as well. Well, and I guess if the if the teens chose the theme, then they must have an interest. Yeah. So, what are your favorite types of books to read? Um. So for me, um. I like reading a lot of different things. I love um, historical fiction, and I love fantasy, and I love um, more real life kind of stories. Um, for me, it's just the storytelling that I love. I just really appreciate a good story in no matter what form it's in. And how about you, Alice? Well, again, all types of books. Um, I love to read, but especially historical fiction is something that I've always really loved and been interested in and find that I can really relate to. And are there, do you have any recommendations? Uh, any that you've oh, read recently? That's a great that, question. We yeah. could probably go on oh forever. <laughs> yeah. well, we have, um, you know, a couple minutes left. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of highlights. Um, I recently just read a, um, a trilogy by Jerry Smith Reedy called The Shade Trilogy, um, which I really liked. It's kind of fantasy esque and got a little bit of a love triangle going on, so always can appreciate that. 
And um, obviously, The Fault in Our Stars just came out um, this this week, which is a fantastic book. And if uh, anyone has waiting waiting to read that, I would definitely say get on that and start reading that. Okay. For sure. Well. Unfortunately, we're out of time. We'll let you get back to your reading, <laughs> but we Thank sure you. do appreciate your coming on, and what a great program. Congratulations to <laughs> all you. of you at the Naperville Public Library. And we're going to take a very short break. When we come back, more Spotlight, so don't go away. <laughs>